Welcome back, folks. Remember when Oldsmobile was the pride of the driveway and AMC was cooking up cars faster than a microwave dinner? Let's navigate the roads of yesteryear, mapping the journey of car brands that have since retired but remain unforgettable. Remember the Pontiac, an iconic brand that dominated the American streets and hearts with its introduction of the GTO and Firebird? The GTO, introduced in 1964, was the harbinger of the muscle car era, a beast with a 389 cubic inch V8 engine, embodying raw power and the freedom of the open road. The Firebird joining the lineup in 1967 was no less iconic with its sleek design and potent performance, including the Trans Am variant, which became a symbol of American muscle. These cars, accessible to the masses and priced competitively, allowed the everyday American to experience unparalleled power and speed. Yet, despite its contribution to automotive culture and a lineage of vehicles that captured the imagination of generations, Pontiac could not withstand the shifts in consumer demand and economic challenges, leading to its closure in 2010. However, the legend of Pontiac, especially the GTO and Firebird, lives on, celebrated by enthusiasts and collectors who remember the thrill of their engines roaring to life. As one of the foundation stones of American automotive heritage, Oldsmobile introduced the Rocket 88 in 1949. Equipped with a high-compression overhead valve V8 engine, which became the forefather of the muscle car genre. This car's notable victory in the 1950 Carrera Panamericana significantly bolstered its performance credentials and consumer appeal. This innovation, coupled with the introduction of the automatic transmission in the hydromatic models of the 1940s, set new standards for vehicle performance and convenience. The Cutlass, particularly the 442 version, became emblematic of Oldsmobile's prowess, blending luxury with muscle. Despite pioneering many firsts and crafting cars that combined luxury with performance at a price point that was within reach of American families, Oldsmobile faced its demise in 2004, a victim of brand consolidation and evolving market preferences. Yet, the legacy of the Rocket 88 and the smooth ride of the Cutlass remain etched in the memories of those who experienced their charm. Plymouth, with its Barracuda and Voyager, showcased the breadth of American automotive ingenuity. The Barracuda, launched in 1964, a few weeks before the Mustang, offered a daring design and a range of V8 engines that challenged the status quo of performance cars. The Voyager redefined family travel with its introduction in 1984, leading the minivan revolution with innovative features designed for comfort and utility. These models, strategically priced, allowed Plymouth to carve a unique niche, offering both performance and practicality. Despite its innovations and contributions to car culture, Plymouth's journey concluded in 2001 succumbing to the competitive pressures and strategic shifts within the auto industry. Nevertheless, the Barracuda and Voyager remain iconic, representing Plymouth's legacy of versatility and innovation. Positioned as a bridge between the utilitarian Ford and the luxurious Lincoln, Mercury made luxury accessible. The Grand Marquis and Cougar, introduced in the late 20th century, epitomized this philosophy. The Grand Marquis offered a ride akin to a limousine's luxury at a fraction of the cost, while the Cougar, with its muscular engines and sophisticated styling, catered to those seeking a blend of performance and elegance. Mercury vehicles were imbued with extra touches of luxury, style, and performance, making them desirable to a broad audience. Yet, despite a storied history that saw the brand become a fixture on American roads, Mercury was phased out in 2011 as Ford streamlined its operations. The mark's end marked the closure of a chapter in automotive history, leaving behind a legacy of affordable luxury and performance. American Motors Corporation stood out for its ingenuity and willingness to take risks in a market dominated by giants. 
The Rambler, introduced in the 1950s, emphasized economy and practicality at a time when extravagance was the norm. AMC also made strides in safety, introducing the industry's first seat belts and reinforced door structures in the 1950s. In the 1970s, AMC's acquisition of Jeep proved prescient as the brand became synonymous with off-road capability and adventure. Vehicles like the AMC Eagle, introduced in 1980, combined four-wheel drive capability with station wagon practicality, pioneering the crossover segment. Despite its innovations and a lineup that challenged conventional norms, AMC was absorbed by Chrysler in 1987, leaving behind a legacy of innovation and adaptability. The AMC and Jeep names, particularly the latter, continue to evoke memories of a brand that dared to be different, offering vehicles that were ahead of their time. Go back in time to when Studebaker, a beacon of innovation, transitioned from crafting wagons to forging automobiles that challenged the design norms of their time. The Avanti, unveiled in 1962, was a marvel of modern engineering and aesthetics, with its fiberglass body and a top speed that rivaled the best of its era, setting records for production cars. Similarly, the Champion, with its lean post-war design, offered efficiency and affordability, appealing to a broad segment of the American public. Studebaker vehicles, known for their craftsmanship and pioneering spirit, were competitively priced to offer value and performance. Despite their groundbreaking efforts, Studebaker ceased automobile production in 1966, unable to keep pace with the changing dynamics of the automotive industry. Yet, the legacy of the Avanti and Champion, with their distinct designs and innovative features, continues to captivate car enthusiasts, symbolizing a bygone era of automotive excellence. In the annals of automotive luxury, Packard stands out for its uncompromising commitment to excellence and innovation. Renowned for their unparalleled smoothness and engineering prowess, Packard cars, like the Packard 8 and the Caribbean, were the epitome of luxury in the early to mid-20th century. These vehicles were equipped with features ahead of their time, such as the first production 12-cylinder engine and air conditioning, making them the choice of celebrities and the elite. Priced at the pinnacle of automotive luxury, owning a Packard was akin to possessing a masterpiece of American engineering. However, despite its storied history and contributions to automotive luxury, Packard merged with Studebaker in the mid-1950s, eventually fading into history. The grandeur of Packard cars, however, continues to captivate collectors and historians, embodying the zenith of American automotive luxury. DeSoto, once a beacon of mid-century American automotive design and innovation, offered a glimpse into the future with models like the Fire Sweep and Adventurer. These cars were celebrated for their bold styling, featuring tail fins and panoramic windshields, and advanced engineering, including early electronic fuel injection. Priced for the aspiring American family, DeSoto made luxury and innovation accessible, embodying the optimism of the post-war era. Despite its pioneering spirit and significant contributions to automotive design, DeSoto was unable to maintain its foothold in a rapidly evolving market, leading to its discontinuation in 1961. Yet the legacy of DeSoto's design innovation and its impact on American automotive culture continue to resonate with enthusiasts who admire the brand's daring and creativity. Hudson Motor Car Company, renowned for its engineering innovations and contributions to early motorsports, left an indelible mark on the automotive world. The Hudson Hornet, with its step-down design for lower center of gravity and powerful six-cylinder engine, dominated NASCAR in the early 1950s. Notably, the Hornet's twin H power setup introduced in 1951, featuring dual carburetors and manifolds, further cemented its performance legend. This prowess on the track, coupled with innovations like unit body construction, made Hudson a symbol of American ingenuity and performance. 
priced competitively, Hudson vehicles offered a unique blend of performance, style, and value. However, Hudson merged with Nash Kelvinator Corporation in 1954 to form AMC, and the Hudson name was eventually phased out. The spirit of Hudson, especially the Hornet's legacy in NASCAR and automotive innovation, continues to fuel the passion of collectors and racing fans alike. Nash Motors was a pioneer in automotive design and functionality, introducing groundbreaking features that set the stage for future innovations. The Nash Rambler, introduced in the late 1940s, was America's first compact car, challenging the era's trend towards larger vehicles. Nash also led the industry in passenger comfort, introducing features like seat belts, reclining seats, and the first automotive heating and ventilation system. These innovations, coupled with distinctive styling, made Nash cars a favorite among American families, priced for accessibility and practicality. Despite its significant contributions, Nash merged with Hudson in 1954 to form AMC, marking the end of the Nash name by the late 1950s. The legacy of Nash's innovation in compact cars and vehicle comfort lives on, a testament to the brand's forward-thinking approach to automotive design and engineering. In the vibrant aftermath of World War II, Kaiser Motors emerged, daring to innovate in a booming American car market, with models like the Kaiser Darren, the first American car with a fiberglass body, and its pocket doors, Kaiser was not just about cars but about setting trends. The Darren, especially with its unique front sliding doors and sports car flair, stood out as an emblem of post-war optimism and the American spirit of innovation. These cars, though priced higher due to their novelty and design features, were aimed at a market segment craving uniqueness and luxury. Despite its forward-thinking approach and the introduction of models designed to captivate, Kaiser couldn't sustain against more established brands, ceasing production in the late 1950s. Yet, the legacy of Kaiser's bold designs and the pioneering Darren endures, celebrated by enthusiasts for their contribution to automotive innovation. Known predominantly for birthing the Jeep, Willys Overland's contribution to the automotive and military worlds cannot be overstated. The original Jeep, born out of necessity during World War II, transcended its military origins to become an icon of American resilience and versatility. This transition was highlighted by the introduction of the civilian CJ models in 1945, adapting the military's workhorse for the American public. Post-war, Willys capitalized on the Jeep's fame, introducing civilian models like the Willys Jeep Station Wagon and Jeepster, blending rugged utility with family-friendly functionality. These vehicles were priced accessibly, embodying the post-war American dream of adventure and exploration. Despite its significant impact, Willys Overland was acquired by Kaiser Motors in 1953, with the Jeep brand eventually outliving its parent company. The indelible mark of Willys Overland endures through Jeep, symbolizing freedom and adventure across the globe. As a fleeting mark under the Chrysler umbrella, Eagle was a testament to automotive experimentation in the late 1980s and early 90s. The Eagle Talon, a compact sports coupe born from a partnership with Mitsubishi, represented the brand's pinnacle, combining sleek design with turbocharged performance. Notably, the Talon's all-wheel drive variant offered performance and handling that rivaled more expensive sports cars, making it a favorite among enthusiasts. Priced competitively, the Talon was accessible to young enthusiasts seeking thrills without the hefty price tag of traditional sports cars. Despite its niche appeal and the cult following for models like the Talon and the innovative all-wheel drive Eagle Vista, the brand struggled for identity within Chrysler's portfolio, leading to its discontinuation in 1998. Eagle's brief existence left a mark on automotive history, remembered fondly by those who cherished its unique blend of performance and practicality. The story of Tucker is a captivating tale of innovation, ambition, and the harsh realities of the automotive industry. The Tucker 48, with its futuristic design, 
safety innovations like the padded dashboard and the Cyclops central headlight was poised to revolutionize the car industry. Priced ambitiously for its time, the Tucker 48 aimed to set a new standard in automotive design and safety. However, fraught with controversy and financial hurdles, Tucker produced only 51 cars before the company ceased operations. Despite this, the Tucker 48 has become a legend, symbolizing what could have been in America's automotive golden age and capturing the imagination of collectors and enthusiasts worldwide. Edsel, introduced by Ford in the late 1950s, is often remembered as a commercial failure, yet it was a mark that dared to innovate. With distinctive styling cues like its horse collar grille and advanced features for its time, including self-adjusting brakes and automatic lubrication, the Edsel was designed to be a new standard in luxury and technology. The brand's pioneering use of the Teletouch automatic transmission system, which used push buttons in the steering wheel hub, was another testament to its innovative spirit. Despite these ambitions and being priced within reach of the middle-class American family, Edsel fell short of sales expectations due to a combination of poor marketing, economic recession, and public reception to its unconventional design. However, the Edsel has since gained a cult following, admired for its uniqueness and as a symbol of lessons learned in the automotive industry. Do tales of these classic car brands get your motor running? If so, like this video, click subscribe, and stay tuned for more nostalgia trips.